Man, I look like balls right now. I am super tired, so if I look weird in this video, you know why. Hello everybody, Curious Cordo right here. I'm trying to actively keep my eyes open as I make this video. <laughs> I want to talk about something today that I've experienced as a little kid, all the way as a teenager, to present me as an adult. And that's anxiety. I think it's something that everybody deals with, some more severe than others. Uh, mine was much more severe than others uh, on most occasions. When I was younger, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know that what I was experiencing was anxiety or an anxiety attack. It wasn't until my early 20s when I really started to learn about it and figured out, wow, I, I have anxiety issues. I have I've experienced anxiety attacks um, and I didn't know how to deal with it. And when I was younger, it was a little bit different. I was always nervous all the time. Uh, I was always anxious all the time. I didn't know why I was just kind of like that. Uh, but I remember being anxious about going to school and being by myself or going to the grocery store with my mom or going out to dinner with family. I was always scared and nervous. I don't know wh where it came from. I think some of it maybe had to do with me messing something up and getting in trouble or just, I don't know. It just kind of like a weird thing that just kind of formed and I didn't really know why. I thought I was just a kid who couldn't function properly compared to kids who could function properly and act normal. Growing up, I had a very nervous stomach, so I would feel so anxious to the point where I felt really sick and nauseous to the point where I was gonna throw up or I did throw up or I would have such a nervous stomach that it would have stomach problems and I have a stomach ache or I'd have to use the bathroom. And when you're a little kid and you have to use the bathroom in an area where there is no bathroom, that can be really scary and frustrating. And then I think I was so anxious too that I was worried that going out I was going to get nervous and I was going to have all those issues which made the anxiety even worse. So dealing with that as a kid I just thought I messed up. That's how I am. But the older I got the more I started to realize it's anxiety. I'm experiencing anxiety attacks. Uh, I think I experienced my first anxiety attack when I was 22. Uh, I didn't know what it was, I didn't know why it happened really, but the more I started to learn about it, the more I started to kind of control it. I still have anxiety issues nowadays. Uh, I try not to let it get as bad. I've taken anti-anxiety medication before, I've taken antidepressant medication before. Personally, I don't like those. Um, they do not agree with me at all. Uh, antidepressants in particular just kind of put up a wall where I feel like a zombie and I can't really do much. Anti-anxiety like Xanax worked at first for anxiety attacks, but then it just got really, really bad and it made me mentally just like unhappy. Not to deter anybody from taking medications if you're struggling with anxiety or depression because for some people it works wonders. Some people take it and they feel absolutely amazing on it and they feel wonderful and they feel like they can be normal again or have some type of semblance of normalcy in their life and be fine, but for me, I was like, I don't want this shit anymore. It makes me feel awful. I want to try and deal with it uh, on my own. I still try and figure out how to combat anxiety. It's not the easiest thing. Uh, it's definitely not as bad uh, as when I was younger or as bad as it was a couple years ago. Certain ways or certain things I can still kind of deal with, but certain areas and events still kind of make me feel a little bit anxious just thinking about it. Um, so that's the video. I am Curious Corduroy. Anxiety is a bitch. I'll see you guys later.